I am a practitioner of African indigenous knowledge and traditional medicine for over 50 years. I'm also a consultant with WHO. Uh, the, I'm a member of the Regional Expert Committee on Traditional Medicine for WHO, covering the African region. I've also been a consultant with the Communal Secretariat. I also train for them. I've been a consultant with the Communical Pharmaceutical Advisory Network. I deal with 90% of the patients who come to me are hospital region. Those who have been to all hospitals, because they come to us as a last resort, because of the stigma traditional medicine has. If the government would start a campaign of educating people on what herbal medicine is, on what alternative medicine is, on what role it has played for millennia. Conventional drugs are only 100 years old in Kenya, yet we have been here for 150,000 years old. What have we been using? The herbs. The traditional bath attendants have been helping our people. Traditional massage has been in practice. Other usage of minerals and other traditional medical practices have enhanced the survival of our people. This is what the government should facilitate individual community to look at and to have those materials accessed by those who need it, especially now that the diseases we are coping with have no cure. COVID-19 has opened a convention, right? They are trying the malaria drug, trying the, with their side effect, herbal medicine and curing it. When herbal medicine cures it, it's affordable, it's cheaper, it's readily available. The knowledge and the material are within us. With a little bit of input, we can manufacture all the COVID-19 medicine Kenyan need. I think it will be ironical for any government to allow its people to die in mass. The way they are dying in India, the way they have died in Brazil, the way they died in France the other day and in Italy, when we are telling them that truly there is a cure. Validation of a herbal therapy does require weak to confirm or either reject. We have the expertise, we have the laboratories, we have our universities and uh, with top-notch researchers. And today, modern technology is such that we can even send our samples to any lab. Anywhere in the This is supposed to mix them thoroughly so that we have already a herbal medicinal formulation. And that's where we've done.